Morning, ma'am. I'm handing these out to anybody I can find walking these streets, ma'am. Okay. It's very important, ma'am. Salvation is very near. I pray that today will be the day of salvation. Thank you. Ma'am, do you think you're good enough to go to heaven? No. No? I videotape my encounters to protect me from false accusations. You don't think you're good enough to go to heaven, do you? I mean, I'm not perfect. No, none of us are. None of us are righteous. None of us are good enough to go to heaven. We've all sinned against God. There's no one righteous, no, not one. And the Bible makes it very clear that when we die, we'll be judged according to God's holy standard, which is his Ten Commandments. Have you ever broken any of his Ten Commandments? Yeah. You want to name a couple? Name to my parents. Dishonored your parents? Me too. I'm guilty. Took from my parents before. Any, any other of the Ten Commandments? Um, not that I can recall them. No. You never lied? Yeah. Right, thou shalt not lie. And Jesus said that the liars will be cast into the lake of fire, which is the second death. It says in James 2 that if we've broken one of the commandments, we're guilty of them all, man. Because God is good. He's a just judge. He will have to condemn us, he says in the scriptures. We're already under condemnation if we are not truly born again. It says in John 3, 17 and 18. And therefore, according to verse 36 of John 3, the Bible says that the wrath of God abides upon those that do not truly believe by the born again experience. Back in verse 3 of John 3. Okay? So how is it you can escape the wrath of God and that, that horrific judgment of God. Uh, how is it you can escape that wrath of God and, and be with the Lord, the loving God, uh, in heaven rather than be in hell with Satan and all of his followers and all of the unbelievers? How is it you can escape God's wrath and go to heaven? You don't know. This is America and people don't even know it, do they? It's amazing. Here's the good My news, mom's real Catholic and stuff, but I don't, yeah. I don't really go to church. Yeah, Roman Catholicism will not save your mom. Yeah, religion has sent more people to hell than all the bars in this universe. It's just a religion. Uh, it's a, full, full of false teaching, full of idolatry, full of false teachings, etc. Uh, the truth is, is God came into this world to die so that we may live. God, who knew no sin, became sin for us. God came into the form of a virgin birth, through the virgin birth, as baby Jesus. He who knew no sin became the sin sacrifice for you, miss. He died for your sins 33 years later on a brutal cross. It's called the substitutionary atonement. He atoned for your sins.